The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, had accused Justice Rita Ophelia Jumagobia of unlawful enrichment, corruption by a public officer, forgery, and giving of false information to an official of the EFCC. She stands in trial alongside a senior advocate of Nigeria, Godwin Obla, who was charged with offering gratification in the sum of 5 million naira to Justice Ophelia Jumagobia, a public official, while carrying out her duties as a judge. The accused persons have pleaded not guilty to the charges. At Monday's proceedings, the court proceeded with trial, despite efforts by the judge's lawyer, Mr. Wali Akoni, SAN, to hold the trial. The SAN had asked for an adjournment on the grounds that he had a pending application, asking the EFCC to provide him with some documents in relation to the case. The prosecution witness told the court how Justice Ophelia Jamagobia approached his bank, Diamond Bank, to open a corporate account for her company. Upon verification, the bank found out that the address she gave for the company was an uncompleted building. The witness, however, said the bank went ahead and opened the corporate account for the company in good faith because of the defendant's position as a federal high court judge and also because the property belongs to her. The witness for the detailed in court how he helped the judge move large sums of foreign currencies between her three accounts all domiciled with Diamond Bank. The defense counsel declined to comment on the day's proceedings, but the prosecuting counsel did. Leading the witness to analyze the evidence which is already before the court is to give flesh to our allegation. Uh, you know, we, we, the, the onus on the prosecution to prove the case beyond its claim without. And it's not for us just to dump those documents before the court. We are to explain it. And that is basically what the witness has done today, which we are quite satisfied with. Presiding Judge Justice Akim Oshodi has adjourned the matter till January 30 for continuation of trial and possibly the hearing of the first defendant's pending application. Shola Shieli, Channels Television News.